Now it's time for the multi-format UK chart with Terry Jackson and Keir Smith. Top 20 UK chart. What did I say? <laughs> multi-format UK chart. All right, this top 20. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, number 20, we've got Project Cars. Uh, number 19, Splatoon. Number 18, J-Stars Victory VS Plus. 17, Halo Master Chief Collection. <laughs> number 16, Dying Light. 15, Farming Simulator 15. Number 14, Payday 2 Crime Wave Edition. 13, MotoGP 15. Number 12, Minecraft PlayStation Edition. Number 11, Minecraft Xbox Edition. Top 10! <laughs> Number 10, Final Fantasy 14 Heaven's Ward. Woo. Number 9, Destiny. Number 8, FIFA 15. Number 7, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Number 6, Grand Theft Auto 5. 5, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Number 4, Yoshi's Woolly World. Number 3, Elder Scrolls Online. Number 2, Lego Jurassic World. And what's number one? Batman. Arkham Knight. Unsurprisingly. Uh, I'm Batman. <laughs> that was shit. Yeah, really bad. That was Batman really bad. after a heavy cold and <laughs> laid up for the week. Can I have in the a bat bed. Have you got to luck it? Um, no. <sighs> that was good. That was shit. That was good. Uh, what yeah. do you think of Tell's uh, Batman impression? Let's know. <laughs> you say on Twitter. What's that I'm about? not saying I'm Batman. But have you ever seen us in the room together? Right, no, anyway. You're rich enough to be yeah. Batman. Anyway. The Bat Pedal Car. Wouldn't have the same effect. Oh. The, the Bat Peugeot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Pan for Black. <laughs> Does it come in black? Oh, <laughs> That's what I said when I bought my Peugeot. Does it come in black? This just Fox sold it to me. Right, news. Yes. Have you got any? I have. <laughs> Go on in. Oh, uh, <laughs> you talked about news like you had some. Like I've, it... I've got news. Go I've on. got news for you. Go on. Okay, this is big news as of today. Oh, we spoke about this earlier. Yeah, we did. I thought Come we were going to stop saying that. I thought we spoke about earlier that we were going to stop speaking about earlier. Nolan North of all voice work fame. You know, he's the yeah, legend. Yeah. Probably like the most legendary like voice actor within games and, and animated features. Blah, blah, blah. Voice Nathan Drake in Uncharted. Um, apparently, he's been quite the same. I know that Naughty Dog are doing The Last of Us 2. Booze, just dropped that bombshell. Boom. There's got to be some sort of contractual. He's going to be in trouble, I think. Yeah, he's going to be serious. Gonna be some <laughs> he just knows he can get away with it. Yeah, what are they going to do? What are they yeah. going to do? They're going to fire me? No, apparently, this was. Um, this is on the Eurogamer site. Um, yeah, so. Basically, uh, The Last of Us lead actor Troy Baker, who, vo- who voiced Joel, uh, has said he knows nothing of a sequel to the game, despite word today from Uncharted lead uh, Nolan North that Last of Us 2 would be made. See, this could be Troy Baker just playing it down, obviously, obviously. because he's like the main guy in it, and he's like, shit, let's jump it out of this fire. He's not going to go, oh, well, now it's out of the bag. Yeah, yeah it's going to be out, out in... No, it's, it's not going to happen. He's going to deny it. So, um, so it's confirmed. Let's go back to the original story. So... um. Uh, none north. Um, it was at an event somewhere. So, when I've asked by a fan if he had any more projects lined up at Naughty Dog, following for Uncharted Four, North said, "Not yet. I know they're doing The Last of Us 2. So he uh, said this to a fan. He said this to a fan. Hmm. So the, this is kind of like second. You know, we get we're getting. This I, I didn't from... know. I didn't know he had it from a fan. I see. I see the internet blowing up about it. But yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah, it's yeah, yeah. A fan. Well. I, I I don't. Is, mm. there, is there a recording of it, or is there a? I don't know. I guess it's one of those like um, video where it didn't happen. So I've got this is going to be obviously not going to be any use to audio, but I love that this is in the article. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little gif of uh, Jeff Goldblum. Well, there it is. Um, yeah. So obviously this has got the the whole. Like games media just going like crazy like vultures. But anyway, so uh, Troy Baker said, "I know nothing. <laughs> I know nothing. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do another one or not. If we do, then I trust Neil. Um, I trust Neil, the creative director, and Bruce, um, and everyone at Naughty Dog to tell the story that needs to be told. So yeah. So this is this is highly. I think by acknowledging in the town of Rumorville right now, we're not going to. I think by acknowledging that there's a story to be told probably says more than him saying, oh, I don't know.'" Yeah. Because clearly he does. It's bullshit. Exactly. Hmm. So, exciting times. So, 
Um, Last of Us fans. Go on in. Um, GTA, we're getting some more, uh, some more stuff. Mm. The, uh, second part of the Ill-Gotten Gains, uh, Ill update Gains. is dropping on 8th of July. So, not Cute. too long to wait. Not too long at all. There's not really much detail from what I can see in this single article. Right. About what's actually going to be included. But, um, I dare say that'll come out in the coming, in the coming weeks. Um, but yeah, more stuff for GTA. It's never a bad thing. No. You wouldn't know, but yeah, it's all good. Speaking of bad things. <laughs> go on. You like my segues, don't you? No, go on. Okay. Okay, so, I think we pretty much got across in what we've been playing, how much we've been loving. Arkham Knight and yes. one of the points we made was that it's an extremely polished game that's obviously talking about the console version the same can't be said for the PC release yeah there's been, uh, there's been a few, this a few has, snags this, <laughs> a few snags would be uh, the understatement of the year this has caused uh, quite a, um, a storm really in the industry um, apparently the PC version was practically unplayable yep and this isn't like it's been happening on a few specs and stuff like this. It's been like unanimously like it's bad. Like we're talking really bad through the outcome of this. Um, it turns out that Rocksteady did not actually develop the PC version. They outs- they outsourced it to another company. And I don't know. This is again. This is going down to like um, this is coming off like Chinese whispers kind of thing now. But I remember re- hearing like something like ten people worked on the PC port and got it done in a matter of like. A few, it was like a very short time span. You know, they just rushed out. And basically, the game is just not in a playable state. It's just, it's just bad. And um, now Rocksteady have taken all games off the shelves. Anyone that's going into the store to try and buy it, you can't buy it now. Whoa. Um, it's been delayed to like, I think they said like fall 2015. So basically, they're going to just completely redo it. And, um, oh my. they're offering refunds to anyone that paid it, uh, that bought it and Steam. Of offering uh, refunds to anyone that purchased it off Steam, yeah, it's it's like re- this is like really bad, and it's um just just falling at the last hurdle because they, they had such a chance to make it. Yeah, no, like it's it's one of them things. It's like I don't know make... I don't know who's quite to blame here. Is it Rocksteady to blame? Is it Warner Brothers, the publisher? Like, did they like because I know that the people at Rocksteady like are really proper genuine guys. You know, I mean, they really they don't they're not in it for the quick buck. They're just they're really passionate people about what they're doing. They're proper Batman fans. And obviously you can see that, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of sad in a way that even though obviously it's been getting like rave reviews, Arkham Knight, all of the launch has been like, and how good it is, the game is, and how polished the, um, console version is, it's kind of been overshadowed a bit by this whole PC debacle, you know? Yeah. And it's like, who's at, who's at fault here? Is it obviously because Rocksteady didn't, from the sounds of it, didn't actually develop it. So is it down to it? Is it Rock, is it Rocksteady's fault for putting it out to the developer? Is it, uh, Warner Brothers' fault for trying to rush the game out, and maybe it wasn't ready. I don't know, like, but it's a shame. Yeah, you know? sort of like they fall at the fel- uh, sorry, they fall at the last hurdle. Like they, they got this like the PC right as well. It just people have just been talking about this. Yeah, just with nothing but glowing reviews. Now there's sort of like a caveat to it, like, oh yeah, it's quality, but yeah. the PC version shit, and it's just sort of marred it a little bit. But I dare say. But this is quoted from Eurogamer. Um. Uh, this is uh, game director Sefton Hill. Um, he tweeted, uh, totally supported decision to suspend PC version. Uh, we have our best engineers at Rocksteady working like crazy to help fix the issues ASAP. Yeah, so that's not good. So you're trying to outsource stuff to save money and you, you end up losing money. This does seem to be a common thing, though, going on with um, with PC ports. You know, these, these, these console-focused uh, games... They just seem to be like, don't give a shit about the PC version. Mm. You know, I think it's at least, shame, at cause... least, I think Rockstar done the right thing. You know, everyone was pissing and moaning that the the PC version of GTA Five didn't come out, but the point is, they didn't want to bring out a, a broken version. They waited and waited, and then ultimately made the best version of the game yet. Yeah, because the backlash would have been more, exactly. more severe. Yeah, had it been come out at the same time as the console version, but wrong or broken. Than if they just had to wait longer for it. So I think people are probably appreciating now that they they made the right decision to, to mm. wait. But uh, hmm. so it's it's a shame. It's a shame. A damn shame. 
Goddamn shame. Goddamn shame. Um, you hear about this? Do you hear about this? Um, Destiny. Did you see the advertisement they started doing in America that to advertise Red Bull? Yeah. You see this? Yeah. Um, yeah, like... <laughs> oh, for the purpose of the news. No, tell me more. Oh, you haven't? No, no, no. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> in that case. Uh, yeah, basically they did a, like, um, they released an advert, like, basically the promoting Red Bull. Like, if you, if you buy Red Bull in America, they've got, like, Destiny and that on the can and stuff like that. And if you, um, if you drink, uh, a Red Bull, I think inside the can you get stuff for, like, bonus, bonus XP and stuff. So for every can you drink, I think you get like, I think something like an hour or something like double XP. <laughs> wow. Which is, yeah, but it, what do you think? It's really bloody clever. I mean, it's terrible, but it's goddamn clever. Like you're sitting there, you got these like people that just want to just grind it out and like, and they're it, sitting there with a, like crate of Red Bull, just like necking them to stay awake. And then they're like, yeah, like, <laughs> double XP, like every, every time. So you earned an XP in the car, XP at work. Yes, exactly. But wow. they, they did a thing as well, like Activision or obviously you own Bungie. Um, they uh, detailed um, exclusive in-game quest and bonus XP buffs for upcoming Destiny expansion and Taker King that players can unlock with packs of the energy drink. Um, they also, I'm trying to find it here, but they, they did a thing where they wanted you to take a picture of yourself drinking the Red Bull with a hashtag. What was the hashtag? This this this, this really gets down to the right kind of CD advertising at this point. Um Oh wait, I can't find the bloody hashtag. But it was something like drink. It was something like drink rash Red Bull, drink Red Bull for XP or something like that. You know. Okay. Um, you know it's it, you know pretty funny. But anyway, um, then who is it that come out of it? Uh, Dying Light developers had a bit of fun with this afterwards. So um, Techland, who who made uh Dying Light, they decided to take the piss out of this and. They've actually said that they're gonna. Um, yeah, this is this is on your game. So Techland has decided to sweeten. Oh wait, uh, that's funny. Uh, where is it? Okay. No, no, not there. Dead air is really, really great for a podcast. I love dead air. Okay, <sighs> so it is the story from Eurogamer. So Activision upset many fans when it announced that some of the Destiny's uh, upcoming content and XP bonuses would be reserved exclusively for North American North Americans who drank <laughs> Red Bull. To com- to combat this energy drink video game market employ, Dying Light developer Techland decided to offer free content to those who drink water, any kind of water, which humans need to survive. In other words, everyone. We're jumping on the late. This is the tweet. We're jumping on the latest trend in game marketing. The developer tweeted. Hashtag drink right dying light or <laughs> drink for DLC. And yeah, basically, and it's, they've got a little picture here and it says like, it shows a glass of water and then it says, um, glass of like, as, as if it's like a actual in game item, item, a glass of water, many times consumable. Um, yeah, and, and, and then you get a perk for it. So yeah, they're having a bit of fun with it and shots fired. <laughs> shots fired indeed. Well, I thought that was quite funny. That is good. <laughs> nice, have a little pop at, uh, I don't know, I, I, I can see why people would be pissed off about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, is that, is that what game's coming to now? At the same time, though, I What's thought, gonna happen, I like... thought that's so bad, but I thought, it's clever, though. It works. It works. Mm. That could, ch- like, that could sway me. Like, if I thought, oh, like, if I was a heavy Destiny player, you know, and I thought, right, tonight I'm just gonna grind it, cause I need to get that next bit of gear, and I need to get my level up. And I'm, I'm thinking, well, you know, I'm about to have a long night on it. I'm going into the shop. I'm about to get my drinks. I'm looking at the drinks, the energy drinks. And I'm thinking, what if I get those that I can get like double XP all night, you know? Yeah, I suppose. And it's like, it, it, it does work. But, um, but the whole thing with like, you know, tweeting a picture of like yourself drinking it with a hashtag. That's just like, yeah. I know Twitter is basically one big advertisement thing really in it yeah. I mean you, you're basically just like a- advertising brands and stuff but that's kind of just right in the face it's like you know what I mean it's just come on be a bit more subtle about it you know we don't want to don't get everyone to take a picture of your product well I suppose yeah it's a bit mm. bit over the top but like you say it's, it seems to be mm. working I suppose has there been any 
stats on how many people have taken it up or? No, no, I don't know that. Okay. They say they'll no. come out in the coming weeks. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Shovel Knight is getting a physical release. Really? Yeah. So, uh, Yacht Club Games has announced that Shovel Knight is coming to retail in October. Hmm. Um, this is coming from IGN again. Um, the physical copy of the game will include, um, Plague of Shadows content update and the challenge mode. Um, plus picking up the physical copy also means you get all future updates for the game. So what, does it say what format this is on? It does. Uh, PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. Hmm. That's really surprising. Because that's not the kind of game I would imagine to have a physical, that you would need a physical copy for. Ah! Ah! But this, um, Yacht Club Games of, um, publishing the title, I basically said there'll be a full instruction booklet as well. Ah, uh, that's what it's about. No, no, he says, uh, bring no back t- the manuals. No two page insert here. You deserve a full menu to hold your hot, uh, in your hot, shaking little hands and pour over as you wait to get home. <laughs> There'll be a full illustrated. That's nice. Instruction booklet. It makes it worthy of having the physical release. It does. But we all like uh, having a physical copy of something in a case. Yeah. Not for long though before we all go digital. No. Um, yeah. this is a nice little story. Okay, so, um. And finally. And finally. Is this and finally? I've got nothing no. Okay. So basically, um, <laughs> obviously we know Fallout 4 is coming out. And, um, one guy decided to collect up a sh- you've seen this? Yeah. A shitload of bottle caps. Um, obviously for anyone that's played Fallout, you know that the in-game currency are the uh, bottle caps that you, you find in the game. Um, so someone's, he's like got two big boxes worth of bottle caps and he tweeted this to Bethesda and, um, Bethesda are basically taking that as currency to get a pre-order for the game. That is, that's fandom at its best. Yeah. Cause I, I read the article as well and basically he started collecting bottle caps when Fallout 3, when he started playing through Fallout 3. Yeah. So the whole time since then he's collected every bottle cap he had. How do you, do you reckon he's physically, he's got them from every drink? Like, what could stop, what could have stopped him from just going to a bar and saying, yeah, can I have all your bottle caps? Like thousands Nothing. that you've got in a bin. I guess. I like to think that he collected them over time. Yeah. Well, <laughs> actually though, how, how, how often do you drink stuff with bottle caps now? That's a good point. That's what I was thinking. The only thing, only thing I could think of is like in a bar, like when you got the, the glass yeah, bottles like beer, of like, which I don't drink at home. That, or in, I'm not in a position that I just hold on to the bottle caps. Yeah. Or at Christmas when I get bottles of Coke. Exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> how many of them are you going to get? You know what I mean? Exactly, yeah. But um, before you're thinking of doing the same thing, uh, Bethesda have said now that, the, you know, this is like, it was a one-time, you know, thing, you know, because he was the first to do it. So anyone else that's going to try and pre-order this game of bottle caps, you're going to be out of luck. What other games could you... uh, What, use like, like a tip, similar currency? Yeah. Um... That one kind of fell flat on his ass. It did, didn't it, really? Uh, Rings of Sonic. (laughs) Who wants to pre-order a Sonic game now? No one. Um, That's why would you play with it in gold rings? (laughs) New Ratchet and Clank game. Just a shitload of nuts and bolts. Yeah, nuts and bolts. (laughs) That is brilliant. I'm going to try that. Literally, I'm going to try that. You're going to have a spate of coffee. I get shitloads and nuts and bolts at work. Um, Okay. Um, Yeah, I think that's the end. Uh, Last part of the news for me. Is I've got the uh, Microsoft um, Games of Gold for next month. Yep, listed here. Shoot, shoot. Okay, so for July, we have got. Uh, here we go. Okay, so July we've got Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag on nice. Xbox One. Ooh. That's good shit. Um, I know Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. You get Plants vs Zombies. And later, later on in the month, that'll be, um, replaced with Gears of War 3. Um, July represents the, the second anniversary for Games of Gold. So, uh, they've chucked in a second Xbox One game for that. Oh. And you get a Paul Nation FX. No. Yeah. Yeah, that's Paul right. Paul Nation? Yeah, Paul Nation. As in? Paul. Yeah, okay. American Billiards. Yes, that's the one. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's your games for next month on Xbox. Enjoy that. Enjoy that. 
I haven't got the PlayStation Plus ones. I don't know if they've already been announced or not, but I haven't got them on me. Okay, well, so we'll, we'll announce them next week when you already been tuned for that. Already been playing them. And you already downloaded them and decided that you don't want to play them anymore. Old news today. Yeah, that's what you get right yeah. here. Game case. 